Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna continue working on my ultimate garage remodel. So are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and this is my garage, and that is one of our Ferraris that is for sale through our dealership, NG Supercars. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about this garage. If you didn't know, we moved to a new house, and well, this garage is it's great. It's a lot bigger than the old garage. It's three car and it's actually like extended or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I can fit a truck in here. It's awesome. But there's two problems. One, the ceiling's too low, which sucks. So we can't really put in a true lift. But second of all, it didn't have a lot of the things we want. So it didn't have air conditioning. It didn't have insulation. It didn't have these floors. It didn't have cool lights. It just has these crappy lights. So we're going to change a couple of those things today. What we're going to do today is we're going to paint the ceiling black. You know, a bunch of people are like, oh, it's going to make it darker. Trust me, it won't matter. If the lights were put up, it won't matter. So, and if we have time, we're gonna add the lights, but that might be another video. And then the other thing I'm gonna do is actually, we gotta shore up my insulation. It keeps having issues. So let's talk about that real quick. But before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe, hit the notification bell. And of course, go visit normalguysupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for your car. You can also buy stuff for your garage, including Swiss tracks tiles and the lights that you're going to see installed later. Anyway, let me show you what's going on with the insulation. Okay, so we added insulation to the garage doors, which is good and it's making a big difference, but there's one slight problem, which is, well, unfortunately, the tape is not sticking and that's probably because we're in Texas and everything's hot as hell. And even this duct tape, see, is starting to kind of come apart. So what I did is I bought a bunch of screws and we're just going to screw the edges and anywhere that there's a rail so like right here is a rail so we're gonna just kind of screw that down so it just holds it better in place and i don't have to worry about it falling off because right now it's kind of a pain in the butt and it falls off oh what type of bug are you oh it's just a cricket okay that's one thing about living out here in the middle of nowhere we do get a lot of bugs in fact just the other day i had a snake in my garage it was kind of cool but don't worry it was not poisonous it was just like a rat snake anyway uh let's get started on that and then we'll start painting so we're just going to use these self-tapping screws and kind of put those on the edges and that should do it and they kind of have like a nice little gasket or whatever so that way it won't damage the uh, insulation I screwed up in one thing this morning. I should have started the AC way before I started. It's still hot as hell in here. Ugh, I'm sweating. Anyway, uh, we got that screwed in, so let's see if it looks a little better when it raises up. There we go. Doesn't seem to be having the issues of sagging like it used to. All right, much better. Okay, we're gonna start the painting. So what I did is I took a picture of the car using the camera, I shut the blinds, and we'll see what the f-stop and aperture and all that stuff is, and then we'll do it again once we get on the lights. And we'll do it again also, of course, once we paint it. The other thing is, I think I'm gonna leave the lights on until I paint most of the ceiling. Then I'll just paint under the lights once we remove them because otherwise we're gonna have no light in here for the vast majority of the day and that's gonna suck. So I think then that's the plan for that. Hi, this part's gonna suck. So, all right, we're painting it black. A few moments later. Okay, I just wanted to show you, this is one bucket of paint, one gallon, covers about one parking spot maybe a little bit over one parking spot so theoretically that means i'm going to need three gallons of paint i bought four because i wanted to be, be able to do a heavy coat because when you're trying to paint black over white you got to use a lot of paint that's how far we got with one gallon i am going to use a brush to get all the corners and edges and stuff i'm not going to tape it up i just i mean it's a garage it doesn't have to look perfect and you can get pretty precise with the paintbrush so that's the plan two hours later Whew, okay got the center of the ceiling all done and painted 
So now I just need to go around all the smaller things and then we'll have to take off the lights and the plugs and all that stuff and do underneath those. Uh, but we're just kind of saving those for last because I wanted a good light while we were working. So I'm gonna do all the outer trim and then we'll work our way into the middle. Uh. I'll be honest, YouTube, I was sitting here painting and I was just like, you know, this is gonna take me like six more hours. I don't have time for that. So I'm gonna hire someone to finish it because I don't know, call me a wuss or whatever, but I've already screwed up the wall, so I already have to get some white paint. I'm just not very good at this sort of stuff. So, I can pay someone probably a couple hundred bucks, they'll do it, and my back will be awesome. And it'll look way better than what I can do. So, I'm gonna do that. So, stay tuned.